My love of history probably comes from uh, just living in a neighborhood that I grew up in, in uh, Inwood. George Washington um, had the army right there in Washington Heights, and uh, that was the last part of Manhattan that they controlled uh, before they had to escape uh, to get away from the Hessians and, and the British forces. That uh, area was uh, defended for a while, and then uh, the Revolutionary Army got, got pushed off of there. When I was a kid uh, growing up, we would go to the Dykeman House on Broadway, and uh, here we have a, a, a Dutch farmer's house that, that, that's still there. You know, I, so I was very much aware of uh, the history around me in, in the neighborhood that I lived in. When it would rain, a lot of times it would, you know, wash away enough soil, and we would find musket balls and arrowheads and bottles from 200 years. Uh, prior. The owner of the Dykeman House, Jacob Dykeman, owned slaves. Uh, there were several slaves uh, that were working in, in, in that neighborhood, and uh, one of his slaves escaped, and uh, he offered a $3 reward uh, to, to see if he could uh, recapture that slave. There are a lot of these stories, and it's embarrassing to certain people that they show what slavery was about and what it meant to people, and not always what, what's printed in the history books. As an adult, I tried to finish off my learning of, about what the actual history of uh, America was. By studying black history, I, I learned so much more than what was in the history books. And I could see you know, what had been left out of the history books, uh, certain things that uh, you know, make American history a lot easier to understand. I think it was left out because uh, people who who write the books could see that uh, certain trends in American life were unjust and they were embarrassed by it. We, we've made mistakes here. Um, genocide has been an issue uh, with regard to Native Americans and the enslavement of, of, of blacks, uh, the mistreatment of uh, women and uh, the denial of their uh, ability to vote. Uh, these are all things that uh, had to be rectified and uh, dealt with uh, in, in our republic, and they have been. Uh, it keeps evolving. I wrote uh, Black Profiles in Courage so that uh, black kids now can understand this is their country, we fought for it, we helped make it great, and uh, we deserve to have uh, first-class rights of citizenship.